Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy facts. So this video is the sequel of a previous video about the avant-garde art movement abstract expressionism. But this video is special because I'm giving you seven awesome trivia questions to not only uh, impress your friends and family at the museum, but just also to entertain them and have fun at your next dinner together. Okay, so here is the painting by Mark Rothko. It is entitled, and it was painted in 1955. It is currently on the view in the exhibition Reflection at the Museum of Fine Art in Boston until July the 1st, 2018. Okay, let's get started with my victim of the day, my friend Donald. Hello Donald, how are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see so you too. So are you ready for some uh, tough questioning? I'm ready. Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's get going with the first question. What is the first American art movement with worldwide recognition? So, listen. Is it regionalism? Is it abstract expressionism? Or is it social realism? Is it uh, social realism? Ah. No, it's abstract expressionism. But you know what? You did a good mistake because, in fact, regionalism and social realism are the two art movements that are just before abstract expressionism. So that was not a big mistake. Okay, question number two. Abstract expressionism peaked in which decade? The 1910s, the 1970s, or the 1950s? The 1950s. Bravo! Good job! Very well. Okay. Question number three. They called themselves the Irascibles, the Krabby Group, the Mad Artist. Ah, uh, the Mad Artist? Uh, well, you know, honestly, I do think they're mad. Yeah. But no, that's the decon... Definitely sounded like that yeah. in the last video. <laughs> so no, they called themselves the Irascibles. Okay. Yes, because they took themselves very seriously. Okay, question number four. What was the first big influence on this art movement? The Civil War, World War, World War One, or World War Two? Um, was it um, World War One? Well, no, World War Two. <sighs> but you know what? World War One still had a lot of influence at that yes. time. So yes, I understand the mistake. Okay, let, we keep going. What was the second big influence on this art movement? Was it the Great Depression, the Cold War, or the first step on the moon? Uh, Cold War? Yes! Bravo! <laughs> Good job! Okay, now question number six. The abstract expressionist shared one common technique. Was it a hidden focal point, a strong focal point, or no focal point? Um, I think uh, hidden focal point? Well, no. I'm so sorry. It was no focal point. Okay, question number seven. They painted with broad gesture, called unambiguous painting, gestural painting, or rhythmic painting. Uh, anastrigual painting? An unambiguous painting? Unambiguous painting. Well, no, I'm oh. so sorry, it was gestural painting. Also called action painting, you know, because they were painting. But unambiguous, I would say that would work also. I like it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Question number eight, because I made a mistake. In fact, I made eight questions. The leader of the abstract expressionist movement was Art Reinhardt, Willem de Koenig, Barnett Newman. Barnett Newman? No, but it was Willem de Koenig. Willem de Koenig. But uh, Art Reinhardt and Barnett Newman were two artists from this group and both of them were kind of the intellectual of the group. So they, are the, they were the ones who were really holding the ideas. Okay, well, thank you very much, Donald. Right. So print these questions and, um, and share them with your friends and have fun at the museum or uh, in, um, in your next family dinner. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.